here are one. And we're going to do extra two examples. So on page eight, they say, in triangle A, B, C, D, E, F, In this case, they say BE is four thirds of EC. That means BE is four thirds times EC. But I don't have something for EC. Therefore, I make EC X. And BE will therefore be four over three X. So remember that. Now, in order to get to the yellow ratio, I first look at the two parallel lines and I see that I can form a green triangle when this parallel line is one of the side lengths. I can also form a pink triangle where this parallel line is one of the side lengths of the pink one. Okay. <coughs> but I'm first going to work with the green one. And if you work with a certain triangle in a mixed question, you always have to name it. So, I set EC to X and I say in the green triangle, BK over KE will be the same as BD over DI. And I have the ratio for BD over DI, that's 3 over 2. So now I'm going to work out the total length of AB. And that will be the same as 
BE. But I have the length of BE. It's 4 thirds of X. So AB will be those two ratios added. 5. And I can work out what X is. If I don't give you it in units, like this is 15 units and the proportion is 3 over 2, you can use that to get the proportion total. That's what I'm saying about the proportion is 3 over 2. I think the rules are this part of the Okay, can I carry on? Yes. Now we look in the pink triangle, the small little one. And I say, because I'm working towards the, group, the yellow proportion, I say that CP over PD will be the same as CE over EK. And then you put in the lengths that you have, or the proportions that you have. CE is 15 over 4, because I said it was X. And EK will therefore be 2. Okay, where did I get the 2? From the yellow one, uh, from the green triangle. 3 and 2, therefore this proportion will also be 3 and 2. And then you work out your final answer and you split it so that it says CP2PD will be 1528. Are there any questions here? You all follow? Can I carry on to the next example?
In my pink triangle, always write in which triangle you are working. I see that AY over YC is equal to AZ over ZD. Line parallel to one side of the triangle. Now, if you have the same thing that is equal to two different things, it means that these two will be equal to each other. Okay, and now I want to quickly explain what the reasoning is here. Okay, this ratio will always be on one side of a triangle. And this ratio will always be on the other side of the same triangle. So if you have an AX, XB, it means A is there, 2X, and X is there, 2B. Okay, the same goes for the other side. A to Z over z to d. Now this is the inverse of theorem 1. If you have two proportions that are the same on both sides of the same triangle, what is the conclusion? <laughs> These lines are parallel. And that's what we need. You want to write no. You gave your statement and your reason, and these are deductions. Right, that was example four. Your homework for tomorrow. For Sunday afternoon, is exercise 2, page 13 to 16, number 1 to 4. <laughs> Did we mark yesterday's homework? No. Okay. Did we expect to mark yesterday's homework? <laughs> 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 Just give me five.